Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create this beautiful team intro animation using morph transition in PowerPoint. This animation has beautiful 3D rotational motion effect and there is a small trick to achieve it. So without any further delay, let's get started. As usual, let's first go to view tab and then enable the guides. Next right click on the slide, choose format background. Go to more color options and under custom tab select any dark shade color and apply it. Next go to insert tab, choose pictures option then select this device, choose any suitable picture for your first slide and double click to add it. Next crop this picture in rounded rectangle shape, reduce its roundness and also its size by dragging it holding down control and shift keys. Let's also apply outer shadow effect to this picture. Reduce the transparency value, increase the size and blur values to get the desired shadow effect. Let me add the team name text into the first slide. Change its font color to white and place it below the picture. So our first slide is ready. Next, let's duplicate the first slide and on the second slide, let's delete this picture and then move team name text to upper left corner. Align it to left, reduce its font size and this text will remain at this position for all other slides. Next go to insert tab, choose pictures, select this device option and then insert all your profile pictures. In this tutorial, I am adding total 6 profiles. Now crop all these pictures in rounded rectangle shape and then adjust their roundness. Next drag and select all profile pictures, go to picture format menu and then reduce their size to 3.5 inches. Let me drag and place them aside and now we will fix the position for these profile pictures. So let me select any one profile picture and then place it at the desired position. This alignment looks good and now let's drag and align both horizontal and vertical guide to top left corner of this picture. These guides will be our reference to place the profile pictures. Now let me bring back this profile picture at its original location and then drag and select all profile pictures, go to picture format, select picture effects and then apply 3D rotation as shown. Now here is the trick, let me go to picture effects again, select bevel option and then apply top bevel to all profile pictures. Finally reduce their size to 1.5 inches. Next drag and place all profile pictures as shown and make sure they are one above the other in a sequential pattern. The only reason or the trick to apply top bevel to all these pictures is to make them as 3D pictures which in turn will enable their 3D rotation during the morph transition. Else morph transition will not support the 3D rotation. So always remember 3D rotation is always supported on 3D objects. Finally we have placed all profile pictures as per our requirement. Now let's select all these pictures. Go to picture format, align them to middle and then distribute them horizontally. Let's center all pictures to the slide and then let's apply animations to these pictures. So let's select these profile pictures from left to right holding down shift key. This sequence is very important. Go to animations menu and then apply fade animation. Let me enable the animation pane and then reduce the animation duration to 0.25 seconds. Select the first animation and then start it with previous. Then select below 5 animations and start them after previous. Next duplicate the slide number 2 and on slide number 3 remove the fade animations from all profile pictures since it is only required on slide number 2. Now we will make necessary arrangements for morph transition. Select the first profile picture, 
place it at the middle of the slide go to picture format and then remove its 3d rotation effect increase its size to 3.5 inches and then place it at the pre-decided position keeping both the guides as reference also add the text fields for this specific profile and then change its font color to white next go to animation menu and apply fade animations to these text fields start first and last animation after previous and then reduce the duration of all three animations to 0.25 seconds next duplicate slide number 3 and on slide number 4 apply 3d rotation to first profile picture reduce its size to 1.5 inches and then align it in the same sequence as before now drag the second profile to the middle of the slide remove its 3d rotation place it at the pre-decided position again keeping both the guides as reference and then increase its size to 3.5 inches let's follow the same steps by duplicating slide number 4 and on slide number 5 select the profile picture apply same 3d rotation reduce the size to 1.5 inches and then align it in the same sequence as before now drag the third profile picture to the middle of the slide remove its 3d rotation increase its size to 3.5 inches and then place it at the pre-decided position keeping both the guides as reference let's continue to duplicate these slides three more times to arrange next three profiles in the same pattern remember to bring back the existing profile picture to its original format size and position and arrange the next profile picture by removing its 3d rotation and increasing its size also remember the small profile picture size is of 1.5 inches and the bigger profile picture size is of 3.5 inches both vertical and horizontal guide will be our reference to place the profile pictures once all the arrangement is done let's delete the last slide select all other slides go to transition menu and then apply morph transition also reduce the duration to one second all set so here is the final preview of this beautiful team intro animation Hope you all liked it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. Stay tuned for next tutorial.